I'll tell you what, it's very crowded tonight. It took us a little bit to get in. We're going to park in the back. But I think I know why it's so crowded. Because this is the final day of Cedar Fair, which which I am sure has nothing to do with anything. It's just because it's busy and it's probably a total of six people the last day of June. But as of this recording, it's Sunday, June 30th. And at midnight tonight, or whenever the park closes, I guess Cedar Fair is officially no more. For Cedar Fair, most people know, is the, the, the parent company of Cedar Point. They own like Kings Island and Kings Dominion and Carowinds and um, Dorney Park. What's the one that, that for the fair, Valley Fair? We've been to that one in Minnesota. That's where they get the name Cedar Fair from Cedar Point Valley Fair. However, it was announced last year, they are merging with Six Flags. Even though it looks like most of the management is going to be Cedar Fair, old Cedar Fair management. So that's a good thing. It's not like it could have been bad if it was a, a Six Flags buyout because we're not really too impressed with Six Flags. However, the company, the parent company, will officially be known, I believe, as Six Flags like Entertainment Corporation. So evidently they felt the Six Flags brand was more important or more recognizable than Cedar Fair, which is probably true, but just that they don't always have the best reputation, Six Flags. So we're here on the last day. It's very crowded. You never been to Six Flags? Never. I've been to a couple. And I really can't say much because I've only been to a couple and they're like the smaller ones. But I just know the reputation. However, that could all change. See what we ride, we'll see what we eat. That's Brady's favorite. Brady doesn't really love coasters. He hates all roller coasters. Oh, that's all right. Um, last time I like, got the rod free, like so this time I got the rod free. Fine, I'll take it. I promise. Hey, Lincoln. What? You don't want to ride in your eyes, do you? Yeah. What do you yeah, want to ride? Dizzy. That makes you dizzy? I ride Woodstock Express. That's the wildest ride. In the wilderness? Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> From the tame train to that, and everything in between, ready? Uh -huh. I'm 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 more trained than I am slingshot. Hey Lincoln, what do you want? Barbecue? What are you eating, Lincoln? Um, fries. It's a big bowl of chili. I'll never eat half of that. Well, have you ever tried their chili back at the farmhouse? No. It tastes like, it tastes like tomato paste and grease. It's not good. Not at all. Oh, Brady like whatever he had. What? I like it too. I like what I eat. Good. I'm going to ride stack Express. Hey, Lincoln. He's going to see if he's tall enough for mine ride. We just measured him. He's 45 inches. So you got to go up to the stick. You'll see. Do you have me 48? Oh, you got to wait four more inches. That's probably about a year, year and a half. You got three inches.
That's row right, right in the kitchen. Hey, Lincoln, I can't even see him. He's buried. Hey, Jethro. It's Lincoln's first time on this Linus beetle bug. Linus is beetle bugs. It's like the what do you call this? What do you call this ride? Tilt a whirl. Most people call it the tilt a whirl. But it's a, it's a kid's version, so maybe not as bad as the traditional. Alright, they're the green one. It's not spinning too bad. Alright, it doesn't look like Lincoln likes it. <laughs> so fast, it's hard to it's hard to get. The question is, is did he like it? <laughs> when, you, when the ride stopped, he immediately just grabbed his head. Are you okay? What'd you okay. think, Lincoln? Tell us. Tell us. What'd you think about it? Would you ride it again? It said one adult. I mean, you guys consider it probably adult size. Almost fall out. No, I was going to break it when we started. Yeah. I never broke that. Park closes in about 20, 25 minutes or so. Drags are still not open or anywhere close. Top to three or two. Top to two has been closed since what? May something? Still closed? Top to three is next. <laughs> and this is the last time, Lincoln. They will ever set foot in here when the company is called Cedar Fair. So officially tomorrow, it's under the six flags. Seems like only yesterday we started. It seems like only yesterday we started. You know, I rose that right we can't light up. Oh, it just does light up. So, oh, he's got to get a St. Louis Sprite. Ethan's mix. All right, we'll be sitting here on the bench. I haven't rode a coaster at night in a while. So, like we mentioned a couple times before, Cedar Fair will be, the name Cedar Fair will be going away after today. And all the Cedar Fair parks, along with the Six Flags parks, officially become Six Flags. What does that mean for the average park goer? Probably much, pretty much nothing. Hopefully nothing. I don't think they'll be changing the name, name to Cedar Point Six Flag or Six Flags Cedar Point or Six Flags Kings Island. Because most of the management or, um, is the old Cedar Fair folks. Or if they have like Six Flags on the sign. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't think, hopefully that, that doesn't happen. They say that's what won't happen. However, Batman, Bugs Bunny, all the Warner Brothers stuff, eventually, not this year, maybe not next year, but eventually could be coming here to Cedar Point. You could see a Batman ride, or Bugs Bunny could be, uh, you can get a picture with Bugs Bunny, or 
some of the other characters. The Peanuts branding ends soon. The contract does, from what I read. Scooby-Doo is, yes. I think, well, yes, there are Warner Brothers. Maybe it's not Warner Brothers. I don't know. Is, is it Warner Brothers or is it like Looney Tunes? It is Warner Brothers. But is, is it, uh, I don't know if they have Scooby-Doo at the, uh, at the other the, parks. At the Six Flags parks. I know they have Looney Tunes. Yeah. And DC. So I don't know. All right. The last time Lincoln will ever be at a Cedar Fair Park. Because tomorrow, Cedar Fair's coming. It's Six Flags. <laughs> now, Cedar Fair has so not been around. Help get in. Cedar Fair has not been around for the 150 plus years no. of Cedar Point. But Cedar Point has been owned by, Dad, you know, Daddy. yeah, they've been owned. Did like, you know? They haven't been owned by a big parent company. You know. The good news is though, it's not a buyout. It's yeah. a merger. Hey, Dad, you know this. What? When you see the Cedar Point sign when you go in the park, you know where you start out and drive this yeah. and then go up the hump. Well, that Cedar Point sign has one flag. Yeah. Um, so now they're going to add five more? Yep. And then I, 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 um, tomorrow morning, if we pull up here, we'll be able to see that, that old man in the back. <laughs> oh, yeah. Use him? <laughs> I don't think so. All right. We got to go. I, I hope they have, I hope they have, I hope they have, I hope they have. We'll see. Good night, Cedar Fair. Goodbye. <laughs> we got to go.